Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the uh, In the Leader's Mind. I'm Thomas. Uh, this is my little blog slash uh, series of videos. Today's discussion is going to be about how to overcome obstacles of bringing people back into the office. So first of all, the question whether people should be come back into the office is something that usually a CEO or the group of executives has to square away. In some cases with manufacturing businesses and businesses that necessitate personnel to be on site, of course, there is not much choice. In many of the office environments, uh, we do have a choice. And so what are the things that people come back and tell us that is in the way of them coming back to work? Well, typically it comes down to two different uh, objections. One objection is I don't want to commute. The traffic is awful, takes too long time. I'm more effective working from home. And the other one is, I do not want to risk it by being surrounded with people. I think both of those have a, a seed of truth in them. And so you as, a, as, a, as an executive would need to decide whether you buy into those statements and whether they're coming from a true place in the person's heart. The commute argument is true. And many of the introverts at work who are the introverts, people that tend to prefer to work alone, actually work harder from home. So don't necessarily assume that working in an environment is a positive for them. They may feel that interruptions are just making them less effective. Having said that, keep also in mind that some of the people that like to work from home tend to overwork themselves because they do not have a separation between home and work environments. When it comes down to the uh, objection that there is a health fear, there, there is a concern about health, keep in mind that some personalities have a perception of fear that is higher than yours. They may be truly concerned about the health of themselves or health of the people that are their environment. Maybe they have autoimmune issues. Maybe somebody in their environment have autoimmune issues and we may need to sort through it and make sure that we help them be where they need to be.